Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing um, 1.3 rewriting equations and formulas, which is pretty exciting. Um, so what is a literal equation? We're moving into literal equations. All a literal equation is, is an equation with two or more variables, with two or more variables. So again, remember our variables are our ABCs. So those are our letters mixed in. So we've been dealing with one variable and solving for that one variable. Well, now we're gonna have equations that have multiple different variables in the equation. So I could have an X and a Y. I could have an X, Y, and a Z. You could have as many variables as you want and the equation will tell you what to solve for. So let's look at these. Um, which of these are literal equations? Circle them. So remember, literal equation has two or more variables, two or more letters in it. Does this first one have two or more letters? Well, if I look here at this first one, I've got an A, I've got a B, and I've got an H. That's three. So this is a literal because it has three variables, right? If I look at number two, is this one a literal equation? Well, there's my X. Do I have any more? No, this is just like a regular equation we would solve um, like we've been doing. So this is not only one variable. And if I look at number three, I've got, woo, there we go, sorry. I've got an X and I've got a Y. Is that a literal? Yes, because literal is two or more. There has two variables. Two variables, so it is literal. So see what I'm kind of talking about with um, it's having, it's not just going to have an X, like number two, it's going to have an X and a Y. Or you could have a whole formula, like area of a triangle formula right there. So let's, let's keep going. Er, something new. How are these different than the other equations we've been solving? Well, in these, like number two, I solve and I get X equals a number. That's not gonna happen with these because I've got two variables. I'm not gonna solve and get X equals a number because like this one, I'm still gonna have a Y hanging out. So these are different because we won't, oops, we won't be able to simplify to simplify and get an answer like x equals 2. You're not going to get x equals a number. That's not going to happen because I'm going to have multiple variables in there. But just like before, we're going to remember our steps. We're going to stick to our steps. So step number one is draw the line. Every single time, whether it's literal, whether it's just a regular equation, you're going to draw your line. Step two, label your sides. One side is the variable side. And one side is the EE -E side, everything else. That's not the variable. And this is why we call it everything else. Because I'm going to have letters. It's not just my numbers go over there. I might have, if I'm solving for Y, my X might have to go over to that everything else side because all I want is Y over here. So you could have letters on that everything else side. That's why it's called everything else. It's everything else but what you're solving for. Three, you're going to add or subtract to move the terms to the correct side. 
And then step last, multiply or divide by the coefficient. And remember, coefficient is the number in front of variable. Er, there we go. Okay, let's start having some fun. Let's solve some equations. I'm ready. Solve the following little equations for the indicated variable. So this is how, how it's going to look. You're going to be given something like this. 3y plus 4x equals 9. Is this a literal equation? Yes. Look, I've got one, two variables. Two or more variables means it's literal. So this is a literal equation. And it tells me what to solve for. Solve for y. So first step, draw the line. Then I'm going to label. I'm solving for y. So one side's my y side. One side is everything else but y. Well, my y is already over here, so I'm going to keep y over here. You could put it on the other side. That's fine. You'll get the same answer. It'll just be an extra step. So that means that this is my everything else side, my ee -E side. Okay. Now I'm moving on to adding or subtracting. So 3y. Can he stay on the y side? Can he do that? Can he stay on the y side? Yeah, he's got a Y. He can stay on the Y side. He's fine. 4X, can he stay on the Y side? No, his last name is X, not Y. He's, he's got to get moved over. So if it's positive 4X, how do I get rid of positive 4X? I've got to subtract 4X. And whatever I do to one side, I've got to do that other side. So four, positive 4x four minus 4x is 0, and I'm left with this 3y, which I'm just going to bring it on down. This side, I've got 9 minus 4x. Can I say I've got 5x or just 5? No, because they don't have the same last name. Okay, he's, he has no last name, and he's got a last name of x. I can't combine them. They are not like terms. So the simplest thing I could get is 9 minus 4x. Or you can say negative 4x plus 9. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. Either way works. But we just can't combine them. It's like saying I have four stars and you have three hearts. How many stars do we have together? You can't say we have seven stars together because we don't. We only have four stars and three hearts. That's as simplified as you can say it. Okay. Again, I want y by itself. If I look and look, there's only y here. Everything that doesn't have an Y is over here. So we're good to go to move on to the last step, which is multiply or divide by the coefficient. Because I have, I want Y over here, and I've got three Ys over here. That's not what I want. So I have to divide by the coefficient because it's being multiplied. And whatever I do to one side, I've got to do to that other side. So I'm going to divide by three. Now, I have multiple terms over here. It's not just one term. Each of these terms has to get divided by 3. Everything gets divided by 3. If you divide one thing by 3, everything in that equation has to get divided by 3. You can't just do it for certain, certain things. So if I have a 3 on top, 3 on bottom, 3 divided by 3 is 1. His last name's Y. So I get Y equals, oops, get back, Y equals, 9 divided by 3 is 3 minus 4 over 3. Now, that's a simplified, I'm, I'm fine leaving it like that. Like, I would, I would rather you leave it like that. Minus 4 over 3x. And all I did was rewrite it like this um, for when we start graphing. You're going to want it in like this. So I just took this... Uh, fraction and put it on the side and the x is like saying x over 1 which is really just x so I just rewrote it. I also um, wanted you to get in the habit of writing it so this is our answer but I want you to get in the habit of writing it like this y equals and I want you to put your x first so negative 4 thirds x plus 3. 
So these are, again, these are the exact same thing, right? The only difference is the X is first. And I want it in this form when we start talking about um, graphing. We want it in Y equals MX plus B form. Both are right. I won't count off, but just get into practice of writing it that way. How do we feel? We feeling okay? I know. It's a, it's a lot. It's different. This is the first time you've done anything like this. I get it. Let's try another one. Please try these with me. Don't just don't just watch me do it. You you've got to try. That's the only way you're going to get better. Watching your coach run the plays is not going to make you get better. You've got to run the plays. Okay. Again, we're solving for y. I draw my line. I'm going to put y on this side cuz he's already here. That means everything else goes over here. Okay, now, 20x, can he stay on the y side? No, he's got an x, he can't be over here. Only y's are on the left. Everything that is not a y, including letters, have to get moved over. So if I've got 20x, how do I get rid of 20x? I wanna make 20x zero. Subtract by 20x. But whatever I do on one side, I've gotta to do to this other side. Well, 20x minus 20x is zero, because that's what I was doing. I was creatively making zero. This guy, the positive 5y, just moves down. And then I've got negative 20x, or 15 minus 20x. I cannot combine those. Those don't have the same last name. But remember how we rewrote this over here? I wanted x first. Let's go ahead and put x first this time. So instead of saying 15 minus 20x, let's say negative 20x plus 15. Again, order doesn't matter. When we start graphing, you're going to want your x's first. So we can might as well just do it that way now. Um, the only thing you got to be sh make sure of is the signs. So, like, it's a negative, so make sure this has a negative. This is a positive, so make sure it's a positive. Doesn't matter what order, as long as the signs are correct. Then we're going to move on to the next step. So I've got all my y's over here. Everything that's not a y is over here. I'm dividing by the coefficient because it's being multiplied. So I'm going to divide by 5. That means literally everything in the equation has to be multiplied by 5. I mean, not multiplied, divided by 5. Jeez, okay. So everything gets divided by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. I've got 1y equals negative 20 divided by 5. Is negative 4. His last name is x plus 15 divided by 5 is 3. Ta-da! That's your answer. So again, we're not getting y equals 5. That's not our answer because we've got all this other stuff going. This is as simplified as it gets. You're rearranging the equation to get y equals the rest of the equation. That's what's happening. You're not getting a number. And this is why I didn't have it showed you how to um, solve equations on Desmos yet because you have to be able to solve a regular equation in order to solve literal equations, these equations, because you're not solving for a number, you've got to rearrange the whole equation. Okay, number six. Number six. Okay, 6x minus 3y equals negative 6. Solve for y. So again, solving for y, I'm gonna draw my line. I'm going to have my y side. I'm going to make this y because y is already over here. It'll save me a step. If you want to put y on the other side, that's fine. So this is everything else side. Can 6x stay on the y side? No, he's got an x, not a y. He's got to go. So positive 6x, in order to get it rid of him, make him 0 over here, I've got to subtract 6x. But whatever I do on one side, I've got to do to that other side. So I've got 6x minus 6x, 0. Then I've got negative 3y, just bring them on down. And I've got negative 6 minus 6x. They don't have the same last name. He's got no last name and he's got a last name of x. I can't combine them. So again, as simplified as it gets is negative 6 minus 6x, or let's go ahead and put the x first because that's the form I want it in. Negative 6x minus 6. Just make sure the signs are correct. They're both negatives. You're good to go. Okay, last step. I'm dividing by the coefficient because I've got y over here, everything that's not a y over here. So when I divide by the coefficient, I'm dividing by 
Make sure you get that negative. He's part of that number. You're dividing by negative three. Don't forget that negative. Negative three. That means everything else in this equation has got to get divided by negative three. Well, negative three divided by negative three is one. I'm left with one y. One y equals negative six divided by negative three. Positive two, his last name's x. Negative six divided by negative three is positive two. He, don't, he doesn't have a last name. That's my answer. That's as simplified as it gets. I got y equals blah, 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 blah. Y equals everything else on the other side. So it's not too bad. You just have to keep practicing. It's, it's practice. So if you don't have just solving regular equations down, you need to keep practicing that and getting better at that first. And then work into these because you've got to have this foundation down of rearranging formulas and rearranging equations. Okay, I think this is the last one, are we ready? Um, go, if you're at home, go ahead and pause this video, try this one on your, by yourself, and then when you're done, unpause it and see if you got it correct. Okay, hopefully you tried it. Let's see what you got. This one we're solving for what? We're not solving for y. It already has y equals blah, blah, blah. That's what we solve for over here, right? Y equals blah, blah, blah. What does it tell us to solve for? It tells us to solve for x. So I want x equals blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to draw my line again. I'm solving for x. So my variable is x. Well, x is already over here, so it's just going to make it easier if I just make this x and this EE. E. Again, you can make the other side X, so just be an extra step. Does not matter, though you will get the same exact answer. So 3X, can he stay on the X side? Yes, he's got an X. 5Z can't, he doesn't have an X. So subtract 5Z to make it zero. Whatever I do on one side, I've got to do to this other side though. So 5Z minus 5Z cancels out, makes zero. This 3X, I'm just gonna bring him on down. I've got y minus 5z, or negative 5z plus y. Does not matter either way. We'll say y minus 5z. Doesn't matter. Then I've got x is over here. Everything that's not an x is over here. So we're good to go. We're ready to divide or multiply. And again, it's being multiplied, so we're going to do the opposite or inverse. We're going to divide by 3, the coefficient. And everything in here has to get divided by 3, right? Well. 3 divided by 3 is 1. I'm left with 1x equals, I've got negative 5 divided by 3. That's as simplified as it gets. I know it's improper. Leave it improper. When we start graphing, you're going to want it this way. So just, just keep it. Negative 5 three thirds z. And I'm just going to write it that way because it looks prettier. You can keep it how it was up top, that's fine. And same thing here, what's the number next to the y? What's the coefficient? How many y's are there? There's one, one y. So I really have one third y. Yes? And I usually like to have my variable equal blah, 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 like variable on the left, everything else on the right. Just, it looks prettier to me. It, this is a completely right answer. You can totally leave it this way. I just, I, I'm OCD, I guess. But I like to write it x equals negative 5 over 3z plus 1 third y. And again, these are the exact same thing. Both of these are correct answers. I just think it looks prettier having x equals whatever I was solving for on the right, on the left, and then everything else on the right. Okay, y'all, that's it. Again, if you have solving equations down, this is probably something pretty easy for you because it's the same thing we were doing, um, just with more letters. Um, if you don't have equations down, this is probably pretty difficult for you. So again, practice, practice, practice. One day it'll click and you will be a solving equations master, but you've got to practice. Okay, I think that's our notes 
for today. Um, great job, y'all. There is homework over this, so make sure you do that. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, y'all.